Hello everybody, welcome back to another Disney Pixar Cars video on my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day and welcome back. And in today's video, I will be taking a look at Corporal Kim from the Disney Pixar Cars Tunes series. Now, of course, this will be day one for the 12 days of Christmas. And of course, these videos are being pre-recorded. Because I don't know if I will be having enough time during those days to actually be able to make these videos. But yes, I will be looking at Corporal Kim today. Now this diecast was suggested to me by Cars Diecast Reviewer. So thank you so much for the suggestion of this diecast. This is going to be your day one video on my channel. So yeah, let's take a look at him real quick. Now this guy... Is just an amazing die cast. Now, I also do believe I do have a couple spots left. Um, while, by the time I'm making this, I have a couple spots left for the 12 days of Christmas. When I upload this, I don't know if there will be any more left. We'll have to see. But if there is, you can ask me in the comments below and you can probably suggest another car for either another 12 days of Christmas or a normal suggestion. But as I was saying, let's get straight into the review. So here we have Corporal Kim. This is a 2010 Deluxe diecast, part of the UFM Unidentified Flying Mater diecast series. Now, this guy is a very rare diecast. Um, one of my favorites, actually, because I really liked how he's like a Hummer diecast and how he has like all the military type stuff on him. I don't know why it's getting darker in the camera for some reason. I'll have to see if I can fix that within the next episodes. But yeah. Anyways, he has an angry expression right there. Of course, he has the China variation eyes and they do look pretty nice. Now, of course, these diecasts were all made in China because that is where all the cars used to be made from. But now they're being made by Thailand, which I still don't think is that good at making diecast cars, but still, they're pretty good. Um, not as not as good as China, but still, it's okay to me. Now, of course, he's got the little um, bars, like bumper type stuff on the front of his car here. I think this is very cool. This diecast does work at Area 51 in the Cars world, so I think that is actually pretty cool and nice. Now, of course, he's a Hummer diecast, so he has the same Hummer type model of a car, just like Hummer, Seven, and TJ. Now, of course, this guy has a camo paint job, so it has like the nice green colors on it. I mean, he just looks amazing, and I really like Corporal Kim because I just think that he is really, really, really cool. Now, he is a big diecast, or like a really big one. Um, compared to a normal sized car, he is pretty big against them. You guys can see the tires there. Nice black tires with like a um, grayish green rim in the middle. It's very nice. Um, yeah, now here, right here is like a little cover over the back of the car. Of course, if you just imagine the cover off, you can see more of the Hummer look to him. But you can tell this is a cover because you can see like a little connections off the bottom there now it doesn't actually come off on the die cast but still i think that he is pretty amazing in a, a die cast way now on the bottom here you guys can see that he was on the base he was made in china very amazing and on the back is just some more of the details on the back of this die cast part. but yeah I think that'll have to do it for the first day of the 12 Days of Christmas reviews. Um, I really want to thank Cars Diecast Reviewer for suggesting this diecast to me. Thank you so much. I really had a great time filming this video. Um, anyways, that is going to have to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Leave a like on this video. And do not forget to turn on post notifications. You guys do not miss out on any of my videos. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.